Hi, it's Igor. Welcome back. This week, I like to build or rebuild something I did four years ago. It's an outdoor sofa I made out of pallet wood, but this time I'm going to use real nice wood. I even got some exotic wood, so I'm really excited about that. The second reason is that we recently moved into a new home and we still don't have a couch. We ordered one on the invoice. It's written two to four months to get to us. So we need a place where we can chill at night when the kids go to bed. So that's one good reason for me to try to build my first couch. And the last reason why I'm doing this video, I want this project to be my first try at selling one of my creations. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the cost of the build and then later on, I will try to sell this project. So I really wanna see if I can monetize my ideas, my designs. So it's a really fun video to do for me. It's a really exciting video. So let's start right away. I bought all the wood you can see on the picture for 73 euros on a French website called Le Bon Coin. It means the good spot. It's some kind of Facebook marketplace or Craigslist and there is this guy selling wood for cheaper. So I bought a lot of it and especially these four beams of exotic wood. He was not able to tell me which type of exotic wood it is but uh, from the look of it and from the dryness and hardness of the wood I can confirm it's exotic, but I would like to know which type of exotic wood it is. So if you recognize from the video what type of it is, please let me know in the comments. I really would like to know what type of wood it is. 45 minutes to do this cut. I really like Japanese saws, but I think if I need to do one, two, eight or seven more like this, it's gonna take me all day long and I don't think I'm <laughs> at the energy for it. So. I'm gonna switch to something with a little bit more power. I mean, I had no other choice. So for the last maybe two hours, I've been trying to figure out what my next move is gonna be because my initial thought was to do 45 degrees angle, but the thing is my saw is way too small or the wood is way too big, way too thick. I cannot cut it in one pass. I have to turn it and then I'm not being precise and then the joints are not perfect, slightly off. So I don't wanna cut all my pieces and in the end decide that yes, it's not fitting and I don't have wood anymore. So I think I'm gonna switch. I think I'm gonna do butt joints. My saw is still too small, but it's only a small portion that I can then uh, take off by hand. Just need to adapt. Let's go. I must say, I was quite excited about this part because that's where this exotic wood comes to life. So when you don't have long enough clamps, you need to adapt and find a way to make it work. So this one was quite in a bad shape, but with the help of my sander and my Japanese planner, at the end it was quite okay.
And that's my second leg. While the glue is drying, I will start to work on my seat. So while I work on my backrest, I wanted to say that I'm a self-taught woodworker, I'm a beginner woodworker, so during the video if you see something I'm doing wrong or I could do better or differently, please let me know in the comments again, because I welcome any kind of advice that will make me improve or be a better woodworker. Another thing, you might have noticed that my workbench is sometimes wobbly, like you can see here. In my last video I explained that it's an almost perfect workbench because it's mobile, it's packable, but it's quite wobbly and I need to find a solution, I still didn't find one, so again, help me out, if you have an idea, let me know, or you can go watch the video so you will know what I'm talking about.
As you can see, I have some fancy Japanese chisels. Honestly, I don't know if they are good or really good. They are sharp, the quality is there. I bought them in Japan and I brought them back uh, from Japan because I lived there for almost two years. So I don't know if they are better or worse than other ones, but uh, I think uh, they are cool because it's written in Japanese on it, so it makes me look cool. Because it's gonna be a quite big sofa, I need to make it detachable, that's why I bought these screws. And like I said, I would like to sell my project for now. We're gonna use it until we get our sofa, but later on I would like to sell it and if it's too big to fit through the door, I need to make it detachable, so that's the system I chose. I don't know, maybe I could have chosen a better one or I don't know, easier one, but that's what I went with. I guess time will tell and will show if this was a good idea or not. And I'm stuck. I didn't know, I didn't plan on the backrest part, how to attach it to the legs. So as you can see, I'm thinking and I didn't have the solution. So I went on to something else while I think about it. If you are like me and you like to watch YouTube videos about woodwork and things like that, I think we can all agree on that uh, the best part is the part where you put oil on the wood and you see the grain and the real look of the wood. But I must say that this part is also quite satisfying when you have round edges and your project slowly starts to shape into the final look it's gonna have. So for the finish, I went with Danish oil. Honestly, I don't know if it's the right choice or not because I have two different kinds of wood. And there was this old guy buying wood at the same time as I was there. He told me that exotic wood is complicated and you have to take the right finish, so he scared me a little bit. So I don't know if it's the right choice for my kind of wood. I guess we will see how it turned out, but uh, I must say I'm quite excited to put it on the exotic wood and to see the look, the final look of this wood. Finally, the moment I was waiting since the first day I saw this wood in the shop. I must say, the look is quite amazing. You will see in the few next frames. It's amazing because on some spots it's really, really dark and on other spot it looks like it's golden. So I don't know, I don't know which kind of wood it is, but it looks amazing with the finish on it. I know I'm repeating myself, but once again, if you are a wood expert and if you can tell just by the look of it what kind of wood it is, please, please, please let me know in the comments. I really want to know where it comes from. Before the final assembly, it's time to prepare the cushions. So I bought this mattress off of Amazon. As you can see, it's 2 meters by 90 centimeters. 
and it's quite the perfect size for my bench because uh, with one cut or almost two cuts I can make the seat and the backrest. And finally the mattress covers. No, I have no sewing skills. I have only one person thanks and that's my mom. She's the one that sewed this up and uh, she did quite a good job so thanks mom. And here it is. The total cost was 257 euros. I hope I will be able to sell it in profit. For now we're gonna use it. And once we get our real sofa, I will let you know in one of my future videos how much I sold it for.